Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashless Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing? I hope all is well. Um, in my last video, I asked you guys if you would like to see a tutorial or get ready with me. And all you guys said you wanted to see a get ready with me, try to get ready with me. Um, just letting you guys uh, know what I've been up to in this life of quarantine that we're all in together. Um, that we're all in together separately and uh, what movies I've been watching, what books I've been reading, what TV shows I'm lo loving, what music I'm loving, um, just uh, my mental state, mental health, um, and my general health and everything and just how I feel about the whole situation and what makeup and stuff I'm going to be using. So that's what we're doing today. We're just going to do a casual chit chatty get ready with me and I did go ahead and do a few things because um, I didn't want my video to be too too long so I did go ahead and use a few products so let's go ahead and talk about all these all these products that I will be using today are the ones that you guys picked in my live shop my stash so I'm excited y'all actually did a really good job because I'm loving all these products I've used them several times even though I'm not going anywhere, I'm staying inside. If I'm filming a video, I've been using these products. So, they're really good. Um, so, thanks. Uh, one of the products you guys picked was the e.l.f. Pore, Poreless um, Putty Primer. You told me to either use this one or to use the... What was the other one you guys asked me to use? Tatcha. I don't own the Tatcha one, but I heard it's like this one. So, I did use this... Um, as a pore filler, I don't love this product. So, where I really, really needed the pore filler, I use this more as just to prep my skin and then to go over the areas I felt like I really needed to, uh, like around my nose is mainly where I need the, uh, the pore help. So, I used this NYX pore filler. Um, I'm almost out of this, so I'm just trying to use it up. Um, but this is something I would totally repurchase. It's drugstore. It's really good. It reminds me of the, um, Benefit Professional. So if you love that one, it does have the same like skin color tone to it. And it's not as thick as the L'Oreal one that I always use, but it's really, really good at filling in your pores. So if you're looking for a drugstore one, I highly recommend this. So I used these two as like a combo for priming my skin and then I also did my foundation and I used this one which I am starting to be obsessed with you guys this is the elf uh, flawless satin foundation this is so freaking good you guys picked this one and you also picked the Anastasia luminous one I've used this one so much um, on my channel and stuff that I just wanted to use this one because this one is more newer in my collection and it does have, have a pump I'm wearing it today I have really been liking the way that my skin has been looking with this and this stuff is so freaking cheap it's insanely cheap um and I'm in the color what color am I I'm in the color hold on I'm not wearing my glasses but I'll I'll see okay 110 natural so check it out if you can and then for under eyes, I'm using um, the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. And I'm using one, which is the lightest one, and two. And I've just mixed them and put them under my eye. And I blended that out with the Ofra sponge. I love this sponge. It reminds me so much of the Beauty Blender. I don't have a Beauty Blender. I was going to show you, but it reminds me a lot of the Beauty Blender, and I really like it. It's very soft. It is a lot cheaper than the Beauty Blender. Um, I think it's $11, 11 or $12 on Ulta's website. Um, so, that, the powder I'm using, like I said, I did go ahead and do some of my makeup. The powder I'm using is the Peach Perfect Powder. I really, really do enjoy this one as well. Um, and yeah, so... Let's go ahead and finish doing my makeup. Um, and we're going to talk about, like I said, everything that uh, I just told you. I'm going to use this Fenty Bronzer in Island Ting. I did contour with this already, but I'm just going to bronze up the skin just a little bit with this bronzer. is amazing. If you're looking for 
a new bronzer. Um, highly recommend this one. It's really, really good. And I usually bring it all the way down my neck. Um, but I did contour a little bit with it as well. I just put it, this is the brush that I like to contour with. It's by Real Techniques and it just gets right up in there. And I just kind of blend it out. Um, but like I said, it just gets right up in there and you can blend it out. You can go up here. And then I, I contoured my nose just a little bit on the sides. And then I always go up under my lip just a little bit just to make it look a little more poutier. And you just need like a skinny brush for that. So I'll just find like the skinniest brush I have, like something like this. And you go up under your lip and do that. And if you want to contour your nose, um, just do like a light, a light little contour like that. So that's what we got going on so far. All right, now let's go to blush for blush. Can't remember if I picked it. I think I think I picked this instead of you guys. But this is the Tardis, um, what is it called? Clay Blush Palette. This was like one of those Christmas palettes that they do. Um, so I'm sure it's not available anymore. But I'm going to use this really gorgeous coral color. And it's in the color uh, Live, L-I-V-E. And I'm going to take this little fluffy brush right here. And we're going to dip into that. And I just kind of like to make kind of a smirk. And uh, put it like on the apples of my cheeks. And then blend up a little bit. And I'm not afraid of blush. I really do like a blush. Like I'm, not, I'm a blush person. I feel like you're either a blush person or you're not. So, But I do feel like blush can make you look super youthful so don't be afraid of it and like i said i put it on the apples of my cheeks and i just blend it up and then also sometimes sorry my hair is really dirty right now i got like tons of dry shampoo in it um and when it's dirty it separates so excuse me for that but sometimes i'll put it down a little bit on my nose just to give it like a little bit of color and i'll even go above just to add some color to my face. Because I really love blush. A lot of people like bronzer. I love my bronzer now. But I do love my blush too. So that was that. Okay. So let's go ahead. And I am going to do a, an eye look. With this palette right here. That you guys wanted me to use. Um, but I need to go ahead and do my brows. Because I haven't done my brows. This is the uh, Precisely Brow. The by Benefit. This is a little small one. Um, I ran out of the big ones, so I ordered this. And this is in number three, if you guys are curious. So I'm just gonna go up. I usually raise my brow just a little bit, and I draw up under and make a line like that. And brush up like that. And I get really quiet when I do my brows. Do you guys do that too? I'm like, this is not brain surgery. Why am I so quiet? Um, but yeah, I, it's number three. I like mine a little bit more sharp and fine. But I also will go in with like the clear Anastasia. Um, this is like a mini one. And just gonna go and brush through them. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started talking about everything because I'm like doing my makeup and not even talking to you guys. Sorry. Um, I'm very bad at multitasking. So I do want to talk about movies first of all, you guys. Okay. So I watched two movies, one movie. Um, I feel like if you're in kind of a lighthearted, kind of not taking yourself too seriously type of mood, um, check out Birds of Prey. It's uh, obviously it's a Harley Quinn movie. Um, and if you know anything about me, I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. That's why my dog's name is Harley Quinn. Um, maybe you didn't know that about me, but my dog's name is Harley Quinn. Um, and she is a mess. But I've always kind of related to her. And I know that sounds really bad because she's kind of a villain. Well, she is a villain. But she kind of had a hard luck love story. I can relate to that. 
Um, if you've ever been in a bad relationship that just kind of got you all kind of crazy, um, then you would probably like Harley Quinn too. Um, um, also, I do want to recommend a scary movie to you guys. And I'm not a huge scary movie person. But this is like so, like you don't expect what happens in the movie. It's very suspenseful. And that those are my favorite scary movies. The kind that are like, you're sitting there going like this. I was like literally holding a pillow over my face, like looking like this. So, if you like that type of scary movie, definitely need to watch The Invisible Man. Okay? I watched it. And I kept looking over my shoulder, like, freaking out after I watched it because I'm paranoid like that. So, but if you love a good scary movie, it's not like, I don't know, it's, it's the type of scary movie that I like. Like I said, I like more thriller movies than I do, like, horror movies. Um, but it is one of the best scary movies I've watched in a long, long time. So, highly recommend The Invisible Man. You should be able to watch it right now. If um, I have de demand, so I can just click on anything, like any new releases and watch them. And those those two I recommend that I've seen recently. But definitely Invisible Man. Good movie. Um, as far as shows, let me go ahead and use this. Okay, so this is the um, Ofra highlighter. This is like a mini. It's in Blissful. And I'm going to... Um, sometimes I like to use my finger and just do a light, a light hand. Sometimes I'll use a brush. Um, let's, let's just kind of do a light hand with it. So, as far as shows, I'm more into, um, honestly, I'm more into, what is, what is the word I'm looking for? Oh my gosh, I can't think right now. I'm, I'm totally into comedies. Um, like sitcoms. That's the word I'm looking for. I can never think of the words I'm looking for. So I'm like a big sit sitcom person. Th that's my jam. Um, I will watch a drama, but with the drama that's already going on, it's like I need to, you know, step back from the drama and just kind of like enjoy my life and have some laughs. And um, I really, really enjoy Seinfeld because it's just like one of those shows that you can watch and it's just like so ridiculous that it's hilarious. Um, another show I recommend watching if you're just looking for a laugh. Um, I really, really recommend Goldbergs. The Goldbergs. The mom in that show <laughs> kills me because she reminds me of myself when my boys were in school. I was such a mama bear. I'm not even kidding. Like, anytime they had problems at school, I was there. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. My son said this. My son had three kids. Three kids. So I was always, like, freaking out. Like, you know, is somebody picking on them? Or, you know, is there just whatever's going on in school? I was always the mom that would show up at the school. <laughs> like, the Goldberg mom. I was never a smother, though. I wasn't that type of mom. Like, I never... Um, I don't know. I just, I wasn't a smother. I was always friends with my kids, but not to the point where I would let them get away with murder. That wasn't the deal. Like, they would, I would just explain to them that, you know, if you need anything, don't be afraid to come talk to me. Um, that's the type of parent I tried to raise my kids like, and I uh, don't want to toot my own horn, but they turn out to be cr pretty great, ki pretty great kids. I'm super proud of them. So, um, I like to think I had something to do with it, but I know, uh, I know they're just really good kids. But anyway, I, I like to use my fingers these days when I do highlight. Um, so that is like I've got some beaming highlight. Um, also let's talk about music. So music. Um, let me. What do I want to do? Let me spray my face. I'm going to use this. You guys talked about it. You guys talked about it. What? You guys told, picked this out in my live. This is the Catrice um, HD Active Performance um, little spray. So, oh, the sprayer on this, it's like a slap in the face. So, be careful with it. 
um, it does give you some glow though. I do like, I do like that, but it like wets your hair. It's kind of a crazy sprayer on here. It's not, definitely not gentle. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about music. So the music I'm absolutely loving right now. Um, I'm really bad at multitasking just for your information, FYI. Um, I'm really loving, if you listen to country music, uh, Kelsey Ballerini just released her album, and it is amazing. It's a feel-good, feel-good music. So, right now, I feel like it's a good time to listen to it. It's just, when I hear it, I just want to smile. So, one of my favorite songs on the album is called, um, dang it, I just had a brain fart. I don't remember what it's called. My Hometown, I think is what it's called. And she does a, a duet with um, Kenny Chesney, and it's called My Hometown. And I just love it so much. It's about Knoxville, Tennessee. And I'm a huge Tennessee fan. You guys know that that's like my second home is Tennessee. If I wasn't living in Alabama, I'd probably live in Tennessee. So, love that song. It gets me every time. Like, I, I, I kind of want to cry when I hear that song. It's just so pretty. Um, so, yeah. So, I really like that song. There's a lot of good songs on there. And I highly recommend it. If you haven't listened to her... Um, you can look her up on YouTube, Spotify, whatever, but I'm gonna go in with Keeper. Tap it off, and I'm just gonna, hopefully you guys can see it. I'm just gonna go, I like, since I do have hooded eyes, let me see if I can pin my hair back a little bit. Maybe you guys can see it better. Hold on. I always use these crazy clips, and it makes my hair look weird. Okay. We're just going to clip it back so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. But I'm just going to go in with Keeper. And I'm just going to go above, a little bit above my crease. Because like I said, I do have hooded eyes. And I like you to be able to see my eye makeup. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out uh, Kelsey Ball Ballerini, she's amazing. I love her music. Her new album is great. I've been listening to it nonstop. It just puts me in a really good mood. Um, if you're like wanting to listen to some music while you're cleaning a house or whatever, or decluttering, it's just a really good, feel good type music. Um, I'm honestly more into country than I am pop. There's a few pop songs that I'll listen to, but honestly, country is my jam. So I'm a country girl. You guys know this. Um, I do like a gospel t as well. There's certain gospel songs I'll listen to that I like. Um, and yeah, I know Sarah Evans just came out. Uh, well, she's coming out with a new album as well. And I really do enjoy her. Um, and I know her, her single, I think, is going to be... I forgot what it's called, but it's like a 70s song, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got like a 70s vibe to it. It's a remake. Um, I just can't think of what it's called. It's my mind, sometimes, I don't know, I have a brain fart. Um, but definitely check out Kelsey Ballerini. I also have really been loving the way that, I'm still using Keeper. If you're like, what is she using? I'm still using Keeper. Um, I, I love how a lot of the musicians have like really, um, been giving people like free concerts and stuff on different social media platforms like Instagram. I've seen uh, Keith Urban and his wife, Nicole Kidman. I watched them. He did a live at his house. It was amazing. Like, it, it blew me away. It was totally amazing. So, um, I love Keith Urban. Um, and I just think Nicole Kidman, she's just like so sweet. I don't know, I just love her. So, I think they're the cutest couple. Cutest couple ever. So, I watched that live. also watched Brad Paisley and his wife. Um, and then, who else? I watched Kelsey Ballerini. She did a couple of Instagram. Um, or maybe it was YouTube. I, I don't know. YouTube and Instagram. She did a couple of uh, videos, like live videos that you could watch from her new album that just came out. Um, which was really cool. And I'm trying to think. I think Luke Combs, if you don't know who all these people are, they're country music singers. Um, Luke Combs also did 
uh, on something on Instagram as well. And I think some people are doing it on Facebook, Instagram, um, all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of used this, uh, this color called Keeper. It's just kind of a um, deep or warm tan color. And I just kind of went above my crease with it. I think I'm going to take the color Drip. It's this color right here. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to go on the outer V part of my eye just to kind of darken this. Usually what I'll do is I'll hold up a card, a credit card or something to line that up. Um, but using one hand and holding this palette, I was like, that's just not going to happen. So I'll try to clean it up if I don't like the way it looks, but I usually like a kind of a clean, a clean edge, but I'm just going to go over the outer part with this darker color. And I'm not going all the way on my lid. I'm just going on the outer part. Again, this is called drip. I'm just tapping it off and going on the outer part of it. And like I said, I'll put on Seinfeld or, or Goldberg Mom or music or something that's going to make me smile. Um, because it can get pretty intense and we're all human. And of course, we're all going to be scared of the unknown and stuff like that. But um, I would say definitely if you're feeling that way, to keep your sanity, you're going to have to unplug. You're going to have to take a break from the news and stuff like that and just don't. Try not to dwell on it. It is good to be aware of what's going on in the news, but try not to dwell on it too much, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the color Honey, which is like the star of this palette. It's that yellow color. Um, uh, let me see. I'm going to go in with a flat brush, I think, if I can find my flat brush. Let's see. I'm just going to pack that on my lid. Like that. So I hope everybody is doing well. Like I said, it's good to stay like updated with everything, but don't drive yourself crazy. Um, I feel like it's time to almost like step back and since we're stuck at home to kind of spend time with our family, appreciate our family, um, spend time with our pets, go outside in your yard and look at the beauty. Look at the beauty God gave us. Look at the flowers. Look at the butterflies. Um, just take a deep breath and kind of evaluate what's important in life and stuff like that and just kind of appreciate these these moments for maybe you know seeing things in a different light um then you know what we would normally be like oh it's so hot or oh it's so cold or you know just whatever you know what I mean like kind of enjoy the moments that we have right now um, and if you're, if you're somebody who has to work, um, you're my hero. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're in the medical field, um, thank you from all of us for helping and just doing your part. Um, the people that work, you know, at the store, at the grocery stores, the people that drive trucks to, move food from here to there. I heard a truck driver say, you know, we're heroes too. And I'm like, yeah, you are actually. You are heroes too. The people that have to work or that are transporting things or it's not only the medical field. There, There's other people out there that the small restaurant owners that are making food for us to pick up. Um, we still have Starbucks that that's still open. Like there's people still out there, guys. So Especially where I live anyway. Um, there's there's things that are still open. So I just kind of want to just say thank you um, for that. And 
and yeah just those are my thoughts about that now i'm looking for another brush um i'm gonna go back in with keeper because i got a little bit crazy with the with the honey and i don't i don't want it i don't want the honey to go over my crease so i'm just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit it's a little tart pot um they're little paint pots and this is in the color park avenue princess it's gorgeous i've talked about these before they're like insane they look like they're wet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep this color on kind of the outer to middle part of my line kind of blend that in with the yellow and blend it out with the dark the color i had on the 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 end i'm going to kind of blend it in to the yellow if you if that makes any sense at all so i'm starting out here like i said and then i'm just going to blend it with my finger like that okay um I'm gonna go back over with where I keep losing brushes. I'm so crazy. I keep losing all my brushes. I don't know. They're they're in this little container and they just keep moving on me. All right, so I'm gonna go back to blend this out again a little bit. Okay, so that's that's how I want it to look. Just blending that out. Okay, cool. Cool beans. All right, so that's what what we got so far. Now I'm gonna take kind of a more fluffy brush, make sure there's nothing on it, and I'm gonna take uh, this color called Sweet, which is a little more uh, like the nudiest brown in here, and I'm just gonna kind of blend it out on the edges, um, like this. I'm gonna take a brush like this just a flat brush and we're gonna go up under my eye just I think I want to think I'm gonna go in with dip which was that darker that darker color we used on the outer corner and I'm gonna go up under my lash line with that like that and I'm gonna do that on this side as well We'll go over here. Okay, and that's with dip. And now I'm gonna take, hmm, I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with the color Keeper, which is the one that I put in my crease. And I'm just gonna kinda blend that out. Like that. And I'm not going all the way to here. I'm just going halfway. I have a couple of like eye pencils from Urban Decay. I do have this color, which is, um, what is it called? It's called, I think it's called Gold, Gold Mine. It's very gold. I don't know how much that's going to pick up. But I'm just going to try it out and see what it looks like. Put that in my waterline. It's not as gold as I want it to be. But it's okay. Okay. So I got that in there in my waterline. I'm also going to add one of these two. So which one do I want to use? I think I like uh, bourbon. Is it bourbon? Yeah, the color bourbon. I think we're gonna use that in my waterline to darken it just a little bit. I'm not gonna go very far with this because this one's really dark, like a dark brown. Okay, so now that I have my eye makeup on, I'm gonna go over my lashes again with this Lash Princess. 
Um, again, I'm going to use lashes, but we're just going to, we're just going to go, I always put, um, mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Let me know in the comments, like, what are you doing? What are you watching? Oh, I was also going to talk about books. So, if you're looking for some books to read, um, I don't read a lot, but there, I did order a bunch of books from Samantha March around Christmas time. She was doing this thing where you could order all her books and she would, she would personally sign them. So that's what I did. And I, I'm reading the book called Christy, which is, her, I think, her first book of her series. She has, like, a, a series going. And Christy is the first one. So I'm reading that one. So if you like Sex in the City type friendship, relationship type books, like, she calls it chiclet, like, chiclet books. If you like stuff like that, then I think you'll like it. It's like a light, fun read. Um, it's nothing too seriously. Um, so I've been enjoying that. So if you're looking for some books, check out Samantha March. It's on Amazon. So definitely check her out. Um, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to put these lashes on. These are by Pure. It's going to take me a few minutes to put those on, but let me go ahead and do my lips. So gonna do some chapstick I said I was gonna use this color do I want to use this color maybe might be a fun pop um but I am gonna line my lips with this MAC chestnut it's this it's super dark so you're gonna think I'm crazy for using this but we're gonna make it work The only thing about this lipstick, it does get on your teeth if you don't, um, you have to do that and then let it dry because it will get all over your teeth if you don't let it dry. Um, so, I have this one from Fenty. It's like another really beautiful coral. I'm going to put this over. And this is a matte lip as well. My favorite part, the lashes, ladies. The lashes. Okay. And then, of course, you can spray your face again. And then I definitely would have to take that out. So, I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to try to do them quickly. And then that will be the end this get ready with me hope you guys enjoyed it hope everybody stays safe um this is gonna take me a little minute to do this so lately i've been using um the huda beauty this is like lash glue the hair it's stuck to it okay that's cute um i'm almost out of it i might need to order some more Okay, so let me show you my cute little outfit. Let me push this all the way back and show you guys. Okay, so it is a little jogger suit. I just tucked a little bit in and pulled it out. And it's just joggers um, and it's long sleeves. It's very cozy, so I can sleep in these and then I also can wear them out. It's like a crop. Um, I'm wearing a small top and a small bottom, and then the bottom have they have these little, like the scr the leg kind of sort of scrunches up, so you can like pull them up or however you want to do them. So they're super cute. So I'll try to link these little this little jogger set if you guys want me to. Like I said, it did come from Target. Hope you guys enjoyed this casual get ready with me. Um, and, um, yeah, I hope I gave you some ideas for some movies. Like I said, definitely watch Invisible Man. It's really scary. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay safe. Um, the people that have to work, you're in my prayers. And, uh, yeah, if, if you wouldn't mind, please give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments, like, what are your favorite movies? What are your favorite TV shows right now? 
um, favorite music. Just give me some more things to enjoy, check out. And any new video ideas you, you guys want, put them in the comments. Maybe some live get ready with me's. Maybe, uh, maybe if you want me to do another, when I do my next shot mustache, if you want me to use the makeup again that I pull from that. Um, if you like, get ready with me's. I'll start doing them more often. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much. And, uh, if you have any questions you want to ask me, leave them down in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.